Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. More daily Nicastinating news, plenty to get into today. We finally have the answer where Santiago Munoz is, but of course guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you get down there, subscribe, smash that enjoy, appreciate the support as always. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the topics at hand. But anyway, that's about it, let's get into the news. First bit of news here, a bit of a sad start unfortunately, but again, there's more social media abuse, more criticism towards certain people out there, and in this case, it's Newcastle United with Pride page. A group that's organised to help get people that are gay, people that have different beliefs in the stadium, just to make them feel welcome. That's what we need in football. It's not just Newcastle United fans, there's every single fan base out there. The amount of racism and discrimination in today's world is just shocking, and it's sad to see, again, there's more targeted abuse. Yeah, I mean, we're called Newcastle United for a reason. We want to welcome all these fans, and I don't care what backgrounds people have, I don't care what people believe. Every single person that goes through those turnstiles in Jim's Park should feel welcome. In terms of United with Pride response, yeah, they pretty much said that they're only criticising because it's us, but it's the same with a lot of old people that unfortunately, not just me, every other content creator, anyone out there that just wants to do something different, you always get criticism from those dungeon dwellers and it's just how it's going to be. Unfortunately, in places like Twitter, people can just get away with pretty much anything really, so the abuse, the criticism people are getting is just non-stop unfortunately and uh, yeah, it's just not going to change anytime soon, which is the main part, but... Everyone's behind you, keep it up. Yeah, ignore the abuse because we all know it's not about what you believe in, it's about supporting this team. I know for a fact that these people will love the cast and that's what I want to say at this football club. I don't care about anything else. The next bit of news in now, this one applies to all the Premier League teams, to be fair, not just the cast and but yeah, instead of 15 minute halves, now they want 25 minute half time shows like the NFL. Imagine Newcastle now, Burnley at a half time. Ariana Grande comes out and starts. Hitting some tunes, all fireworks going on. I might imagine that, but uh, yeah, I mean, people are entitled to think what they want. I actually think in something like a Champions League final, maybe like an FA Cup final, even World, World Cup final or something, I actually think it wouldn't be an awful idea. I just, I think in this case, I want it like a regular basis. I imagine Newcastle Burnley you with know, all these people coming out and singing. I mean, no, no, you go to a football match, you enjoy the football, drink some beer, and just have a laugh. That's what you go there for, don't you? Don't go there to see half time shows, which I feel like it's a bit of a problem in the NFL. It kind of takes away the animosity in the sport. I mean, yes, you do want to go out there and see your team win, but it's also the opposition. You want to see them lose. I mean, if we've got half-time shows, it just kind of just kills it down a little bit, doesn't it? But, uh, yeah, that's my personal opinion. But I don't think it'd be awful like a cup final. I just feel like in Premier League football, no. No, I would not go for that. Finally, the big topic of today's video, where is Santiago Munoz? We finally have an answer. He is injured with a muscle problem. Happy. <laughs> Injuries in the cast now. I've never heard that before, but yeah, it's sad to see, but I don't know if we signed the guy when he was injured or he got injured when he came to cast now. I have no idea about that. He has not played or been on the bench once for the under 23s. And in terms of under 23s themselves, so, they're quite good going forward. I've watched a lot of the football and they are really good going forward. It's defensively, it's the exact same as the first team. That's a problem. Dan Lang is inconsistent and the bat line is just shambolic at times. And uh, I don't know, I'll be interested to see how Santiago Munoz will fit in, but. A lot of people are automatically against this guy because of his name. People are saying, oh, you only bring him in for a market employee. He's only here because of his name. If he wasn't called Santiago Munoz, we wouldn't win anywhere near him, which I don't know if it's true or not, but the point is a lot of people have already got this guy set up to fail before he's even kicked the ball. I want to see how he plays first of all, judging because he could be a really good player. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be exciting whenever he does play. A lot of under 23 games coming up, so I'm hoping I see his debut when I'm there. I mean, what do you guys think about Santiago Munez? Will he be one for the future or will he just be a complete flop? Anyway, though, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. That's all I've got to say about Munez. He's just got a muscle injury. That's it. That is why he's not playing. At least we've got the answer, though. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I don't think I'm going to do a second upload tonight because I'm going to be out. Tomorrow, though, there'll be a live stream on the channel. My weekly Thursday live stream uh, started last week. Uh, that's about it, really. Press comments reaction on Friday with Eddie Howe. will be back in for I hope so. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching, take care and yes, I'll see you on the next one.